Last week, I went to the Media Tech Summit in Sonoma, California, and not only did this event happen in a really fancy as heck hotel, but we also got to see all the news about the new MediaTek Dimensity 9200 chipset, which will be powering tons of smartphones in the coming year. Okay, so who is MediaTek? Well, if you've watched Hack 5 way back in the day, this is a brand that us hackers really like. The chipsets are found inside some of our favorite Wi-Fi adapters, and they are pretty hacker friendly. I remember back in the day searching up chipsets that are in Wi-Fi adapters to figure out which ones will have the best compatibility with old Linux distros. That was a whole thing that we did. Nowadays, I don't really have to do that, but I am more familiar with MediaTek as a major chipset for smartphones, connected devices like iOS. IoT smart home products. They do power a ton of products, including a lot of connected devices that you probably already have in your home, and some you will probably be looking at purchasing next year. I'm looking at you, PSVR2, that we got to see a teaser of at the summit, but we weren't supposed to touch. I absolutely did not touch it. With MediaTek all over the place, I of course had concerns about things like supply chain attacks. So I straight up asked executive Vince Hugh about this very subject and here was his answer. So supply chain attacks and vulnerabilities are a huge thing that we are starting to see in the last couple of years. And I'm just wondering if you could comment on what MediaTek is doing to help all the different industries that you have a hand in producing and helping your different vendors and everybody protect the end user? Well, uh, yeah, that's a great question. I mean, we've all suffered in the industry over the last couple of years with shortages, right? And it's not just about semiconductors, it's about uh, substrate capacity, for example. I think one of the things as uh, we've learned going forward is we have to be a little more resilient in our supply chain planning. We are making investments with a number of our partners in the supply chain to uh, provide dedicated capacity, by the way. And then uh, you may have seen an announcement that we had with Intel here. I mean, the geopolitical does kind of overshadow the whole industry. Uh, and we are establishing a foundry relationship with them. You know, if you look at our foundry landscape, we're involved with almost every major foundry, except for Intel. And that partnership is very good on multiple facets. We're adding to that as well. Uh, but on the manufacturing, on the packaging and substrate side, we're making investments there as well to make it more resilient going forward. So the Dimensity 9200 is the subject of today's video. This is the newest in the smartphone lineup, packing lots of goods into a four nanometer chipset to rival competitors such as Qualcomm Snapdragon, Apple's A16 Bionic, and Google's Tensor. This thing has eight cores, four of which are performance cores for higher power usage, and there's also four efficiency cores for those times that you are just checking your email. This should also help with power consumption and heat over its predecessor. I got to see some examples of mobile ray tracing. Yeah, babes, you know how I am obsessed with using ray tracing on my gaming PC because it looks so pretty. That's some sexy gaming from the 11 core GPU. It's called the Immortalis G715. But my favorite demo at the summit was showing off Wi-Fi 7 speeds between a couple of routers that have so many antennas. It kind of reminded me of the newest Wi-Fi pineapple. I'm looking at you. Just look at the speeds between these two routers. Good lord, that looks nice. So Wi-Fi 7 sounds pretty sweet because it'll improve range and speeds like 6.5 gigabits per second. Of course, I'm really looking forward to seeing how this is implemented in smartphones as well. We will have to wait and see to see actual speed tests in realistic scenarios. Bluetooth 5.3 is the new thing. This support gives you better audio streaming to your Bluetooth headphones or other devices devices as well. Something cool to mention too is you won't have to choose between chipsets because the Dimensity 9200 supports both millimeter wave and sub six, which is really cool. Smartphones, including the Dimensity 9200, should see better photography thanks to AI tech from a dedicated hardware ISP, which can detect parts of a photo, like a person and the sky in the background and below that are mountains in the background or whatever it might be, it can differentiate between them so your subject is better in focus. Night shots should also be better as well and this also goes for video. Lastly, this is the first chipset announced that will include a lot of sweet tech built into it for smartphones, even a few things that I did not really cover in this quick hitter like it will have UFS 4.0 storage compatibility, like that's cool too. I'm excited. I 
am loving seeing a heavy hitter coming out from MediaTek to create more competition in the flagship worldwide or global smartphone market. If you have interest in smartphones from brands like Xiaomi, Vivo, Asus, Oppo, and so on, MediaTek works with these manufacturers. So we might be seeing this chipset in some of their upcoming devices. No confirmations yet, but I'm very much looking forward to CES for this very matter. We will probably start seeing some announcements from their partners during CES in January, which by the way, announcement, I'm planning to be there. I have already booked my tickets. I got my confirmation for my CES badge. So I'm good to go. I'm so excited. It's been so long. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of Vegas, but I do, I do like going to CES. I love being able to bring y'all coverage like this. So if you enjoy it too, subscribe for more. Let me know if you enjoyed this quick overview. If you would like to see more of this kind of content where I cover events and I cover news that's coming out in technology, I think it's pretty cool to see what's upcoming in devices. And it gives us consumers a better understanding of how our tech is built. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Shannon Morris. I'll see you next time. Bye y'all.